ball sticking and playing one on one and, and, and taking shots there for ill advised and uh, them picking up their pressure and getting out and running on us. Uh, so I don't. I think our defense played well uh, the first game. Uh, played great tonight, and uh, our offense uh, kind of matched that uh, matched that effort and uh, made for a great game. What do you thought of the way Andrew Nemhart's played and controlled the pace for you guys? He plays, he plays great, you know, uh, just, this is just a comfort level, having him out there with the ball. Um, he makes the right read, makes the right plays, he uh, keeps us settled and uh, get, into, get us into offense uh, with, without any problem. you set objectives for the team or goals you want to check off or accomplish with, as a team going into these games at all? Uh, we have one goal and we just want to play hard, right? compete and play hard. That's, that's the only thing we want to do. Uh, we've only been together for maybe nine days right now. so. Uh, no real goals or, or, or objectives, just just to come out and play hard and compete. Just what impression about Ben Shepard and the the, for, the change of performance from last night to tonight? Well, it, it was the it was the change of uh, our offense, mm -hmm. right? It went from ISO ball to the ball sticking, not moving, to the ball moving, uh, player movement, uh, random actions, and the ball finding the night, and he was able to make shots. To that point, did you say anything to like bother him? Because like. Initially, he was going one on three a lot. I think it changed in the second half where he was really distributing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I said something to him. We challenged him. We showed uh, not only him but the whole team just uh, tips from our, uh, our team last year and how the ball moved, uh, random actions, and uh, how the game flowed. And it, it was when, the, when, the, when we play like that, now the defensive uh, effort is, is great on, on, for everybody. So uh, I think the ball movement and, and the player movement today was a big part of our win. What do you make of what Isaiah was able to do in these two games and what he was able to get accomplished? Uh, double doubles. Yeah, a lot like Drew in a, uh, in a different way. Uh, he, he angers our defense. Uh, he's a big talker now. He wasn't two years ago. Uh, he, he knows what we're doing defensively. He knows what we want on him offensively. He does a great job of creating offense for us uh, with random screen and rolls and DHOs. Uh, so it's a, it's a comfort level having him out there as well. Obviously not a guy with you guys anymore, but O'Shea Brissett, a guy who really developed in Indiana, moved on to the Celtics. What can Boston fans expect from him? Uh, O'Shea plays with great energy. Uh, he's a gamer as well. Uh, he's a, shot, a, a tough shot maker, uh, great teammate. Uh, he's a guy that's going to help you and not hurt you. What are some ways you saw him improve through the years he was with Indiana? Uh, with the shooting, uh, being able to switch one through four defensively, uh, being able to attack the rim, draw fouls, and, and finish with either hand. Uh, I think he's grown a lot, and uh, he's going to be a great addition for the Celtics. Seemed like you guys ch uh, challenged Jarris to do some different stuff offensively tonight. Obviously, brought the ball up a couple of times. I mean, just what did you like about the sort of whole of his offensive game? The shooting seemed better. What did you like about how he integrated himself in that? Well, we didn't, we, didn't, we didn't really challenge him. It, it was. Uh, it's our job as coaches to, uh, to put those guys in situations to be successful. And uh, I'll take responsibility for not utilizing him game one uh, in, in different ways. Like the guy's, uh, he's very versatile. He can handle the ball and make plays uh, offensively. So we kind of put the ball in his, in his hands sometimes and he makes some great plays. With Ben, I mean, he doesn't have an off switch, right? No matter, even if it, it's summer league. What, what kind of was your message to him going into these couple of games about you know, how it's both about him and the team and what he's trying to get accomplished. You know, I try to explain to him that um, within the game, there's ISO situations that don't look like ISO, right? So if, if it's a pick and roll and you're feeling behind and you catch that ball attacking the rim, it's really an ISO, it's a, really an isolation play, but it's within the framework of the game. All right? The game is still flowing, the ball is moving, and, and that's a way for him to be successful, but just catching and holding it, and jabbing and let the defense get set makes it really tough on him and, and us as a team. Yeah, I think um, I think we're kind of switching some things up on the defensive end, uh, more of like kind of a guard your yard type of thing. And um, I think we had some really like Shepard plays really good defense. I think Jerry plays really good defense. Ben stepped it up. Isaiah, myself. I think the whole starting line was doing a really good job of just playing hard and, and making the one on one matches personal. You mentioned Shepard. How'd you see him improve from game one to game two? Obviously, his numbers were a lot better. Yeah, I think with rookies, I mean, even myself last year, I think you just, every game you're getting more and more comfortable. I think he does a great job of um, inserting himself in the game on the defensive end, getting rebounds, and then letting the game come to him on offense. And I think he, he saw that happen when he was getting three to, threes down. 
you enjoy getting to play a little point guard again, be the floor general for this team? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Um, I think it's just good reps. I think, yeah. What have you seen from the growth from Matthew? Right? Uh, the growth from Matthew from this year yeah, I think the game's slowing down a little bit. I think he uh, did a great job passing to the seven assists. Um, and I think it's just the whole all-around playmaking as well as scoring. I think it's coming to come together. You think it's coming together in year two and year two? Yeah. So, Gennaro talked a lot about just better ball movement all around today. What did you feel like just got better in terms of the way, the way you guys passed, the way you guys yeah. I think it was exactly that. I think this team had a big... Big like low man was helping it really really hard to the paint. So those weak side kickouts were there very early, and I think we just allowed that to get our us trusting that pass, allowed our whole team to kind of gel and, and play better on that side of the ball. What have you thought of Jarris Walker in these two games? Jarris, man, he's he's great. I think he does a little bit of everything. Um, and obviously, it's early. He's, he's going to keep continuing to get a lot better. So um, right things right things in the future for him. Both sides of the ball. Do you expect that to be it for you? City. Do you expect that to be it for you now? Yeah, so it's what, What's the pressure about Isaiah the last couple of games? 25 rebounds. Yeah, Zay's, Zay's been really good, man. His rim protection, um, his rebounding the ball has been great. I think he honestly does a lot more. Ken is capable of a lot more offense than you may have seen throughout the last two seasons. He could really kind of dribble and, and, and be his man and get to the rim. So um, showcasing a lot of things, I think uh, I'm, I'm happy to see it for him. Is everything coming easier to you in your uh, year two compared to last year when you started summer league? 100. Um, percent Games always slowing down game to game. Um, I think that will continue to happen as my career goes on. You said the game slowing down. I feel like your pace has been the same since I've known you. You've been in your early years. What is it? I mean, you know, what is it about you handling the guards and pace? I feel like you guys, all of you guys, got pace. They're really good with pace. Just talk a little bit about that. Man, I'm not sure if it's a Canadian thing or not, but. Um, <laughs> I think we just we just been trying to. I just think for me personally, it's, I'm just trying to read the game, um, understand coverages, understand how to switch it up, and wh where where the mismatches is on the floor, and where I can take advantage. Of it. Yeah, I'm not really rushing. You played a lot with Tyrese Halliburton. You were playing both combo guards too as well. What are some things you learned, you know, playing with him? I know you have the ball in your hands now, but what are some things you learned from playing with him too? As well? Many things. I think um, we're in many of the same actions. So just how he reads the game and where he's picking the spots, I can literally do similar things um, in, in that sense, and, and or look at it and see how I can do it in my type of way. So um, he's, he's, a, I, he's been great for me to just watch and see up close and take take pointers from. Sort of helping the guys, uh, helping the younger guys. Uh, I feel like I came in, uh, sort of been that leader. Uh, Try to be very vocal uh, on the court, uh, especially on screens and stuff. Trying to be uh, just that that. The leader, uh, the leader of the uh, group. I know the five. Uh, playing the five, it's like you got, sort of got to. You see everything, so you got to be able to talk to the guys, tell them when screens coming, back screens, certain things like that. So I feel like that. Uh, in that aspect, I took a step forward. Uh, then uh, one of the, the bad things I feel like uh, was probably uh, fouling, uh, staying down, learning how to stay down. Uh, like uh, I talked to LP uh, after the game today. He was just telling me like. Uh, it's going to come with time, but uh, I got to just know who I'm guarding. Uh, knowing when smaller guys are drivers, knowing when to stay back and stay down, uh, not jumping at shots. Because my contestants, uh, when I contest, it's just, I mean, people are shooting over me. It's hard for, uh, hard for them to shoot over me and stuff. So, uh, so. What have you thought of Jarrett's through two games so far? Uh, he's a monster, man. Uh, he's, been, he's been doing his thing. He's been hooping. Uh, uh, he's been bringing a lot of energy to us, uh, especially starter games. Uh, he does all over the place. He does everything, uh, and I mean, he's uh, he's a he's a good get fit for our team and stuff. Uh, just energy wise, how he plays, the shots going to get better. Uh, his IQ going to get better, and he's going to keep growing. Uh, and what I'm more excited about is defensive on the defensive end. Like he, he really knows how to lock down. Uh, he blocks shots, uh, gets steals, stays in front of uh, smaller guards and stuff. So it's going to be fun. You talked a lot last year about just wanting to just be yourself, just play your game. And obviously, it's going to take a lot of that, especially the other night. 10 to 12 from the floor, a lot of dunks in there. I mean, it, it just, do you feel like you've been sort of comfortable out here doing what you do? Uh, yeah, of course. Uh, I mean, I feel like last game, I sort of showed, uh, in this game as well, uh, just my hard playing. Uh, I mean, that's most of the time how I get points and stuff, is just uh, playing hard, offensive rebounds, putbacks, uh, stuff like that, and just playing defense, helping the guys out uh, on the defensive end and stuff. And I feel like I, I, mean, I did that well. Uh, I feel like my rebounding is uh, 
it's got a lot better, a lot better. Uh, I had double digits rebounds both games. Uh, so, I mean, pat myself on the back. Uh, I'm just going to keep growing. Keep getting Is there anything particularly you think you've done to get better at rebounds? I mean, not that you were bad to start with, but I mean, do you feel like there's anything better you've done in this? I feel like uh, being in the right position. Uh, I got sort of got stronger and bigger, so I'll be able to, I can, like, when I'm going on for offensive rebounds, defensive rebounds, I can hold my ground when I'm boxing out. Then I can uh, use my body to wedge players under so I can go get the board and stuff. And uh, I feel like uh, being around Oscar uh, helps me, help me a lot. Uh, just talking to him on like, little techniques and stuff. Because uh, like I said, I'm a sponge, so I want to soak as much knowledge as I can. I know he's he was one of the best rebounders in the uh, NCAA. So uh, just picked up on little stuff uh, that he does, uh, sort of being like a magnet for the ball. So. I want to go a little bit deeper real quick on both of those. What, what are some things that Oscar told you, number one, and, and how much bigger have you gotten? What, what have you done physically? And uh, how do you think it's made a difference? Some of the things that Oscar told me uh, is knowing when the, like, where the ball, like what, what part of the rim the ball is hitting on. That's what's the way it's going to go. So I've been sort of using that uh, sort of aspect in uh, my playing and stuff. Uh, then just getting bigger, I've just been in the weight room. Uh, I've been taking the weight room by, like very serious. Uh, this summer, uh, I'm just gonna keep keep getting stronger. Uh, and once once this is all over, said and done, the summer league, uh, I'm just gonna get back right into it. Uh, and I, I gained a couple more pounds, so I, I feel feel like I can bang with a lot of guys and stuff. So, what are you up to? Huh? What are you up to? Wait, wait. Uh, two. I got the two thirty. I'm probably like two twenty five right now. Mm -hmm. uh, with playing and stuff, is I mean it's hard to uh, maintain, but I feel like I can bounce back up to two thirty by the, by the mm -hmm. season. I started season. Did you begin each of these games with a couple things kind of in the back of your mind, like take care of this or stop fouling, let's rebound? Like, uh, what was your I'm objectives? Sort of like my mindset? Yeah, what, was your, what were a couple things individually you were trying to focus in on during these two games? Uh, just playing hard. Uh, I feel like it's hard for a third-year guy to come in uh, playing with a bunch of younger guys and, I mean, just have, sort of having a big head. Uh, and I sort of just came in with a mindset that I wanted to get better. Uh, and a lot of the guys, Ben, uh, Drew, they can, uh, they can uh, sort of relate to that sort of that, uh, that just that mindset. Just coming in second year, they can, they, I mean, their situation was way better than mine. They, I mean, rising stars and stuff, so they had a lot of like sort of, uh, press, I guess, pressure, you could say. Uh, so, I mean, I, I sort of just took that and uh, took that and just, I mean, tried to play, play my hardest. Uh, tried to come out here and just get some. Get some run in, uh, get some get some game uh, reps in and stuff, and just try to get better. And what was it like just having Andrew this this steady influence, just setting things up, no panic whatsoever? Yeah, and, I mean, it's it's amazing. Uh, he's one of the out of out of all the point guards that I play with, he's probably one of the one of the best. Uh, just learn how to just play at his own pace. Like he doesn't get rushed by anything. Like if somebody pressure him, he's play at his own pace. Uh, he's a good uh, distributor, like ball wise and stuff. He knows when to get his. So.